Hey y'all, Bunkle here. Hope you're having a great day, great evening, great whatever time of the day it is for you. Want to welcome you to Sunday Football. Now, of course, uh, this video is being released on a Sunday. Um, it could be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever day of the week, whatever time it is. Um, where you, when you're watching this, you could watch it multiple times if you want. Uh, you, you could watch it every single day. Uh, anyway, I do hope you're having a great day. I've definitely been having a great day and a great week. And I, I say, as always, appreciate every day as, uh, there's blessings in every possible way that, uh, and sometimes you don't even realize they are until you look back and you realize until you see them. Anyway. Going to be getting to opening this 91 Fleer football. Now, I'm not going to be opening the full box. I'm only going to be opening a half box. Uh, these have randomly packed Ultra Performance cards inside also. Now, Fleer Ultra, that was their step up. Uh, they were trying to get better photo quality, better card quality, and all of that. Um, interesting cards in this, uh, in this set, in these packs, of course. Could be... Another Brett Favre rookie. Um, when I say another, I mean just another one of several. Uh, he had rookie cards in several different sets. Um, there's also a ton of Hall of Famers. Now, he's really the best rookie card that you'll find in these. Um, there are a ton of Hall of Famers, though. And as I mentioned, the Ultra Performance cards. Now, if you're looking for a PSA value from this set, um, you're not going to find it. I would say, well, just... Looking at the PSA website, uh, what they have is most recent price for the highest graded and highest price card is the Deion Sanders. Now, the Deion Sanders in a 10 uh, was last sold at 57 bucks. The Brett Favre is uh, 46. If you consider submission fees and uh, postage and all that other stuff, uh, the Emmett Smith is 38. Uh, the Montana's 36, the S Barry Sanders is 34. Um, you're starting to get real close to the PSA $30 price. Now, of course, if you're using a lower price grading company, um, you know, mileage can vary. Anyway, so with all that being said, what we're looking for in here, of course, is any kind of Hall of Famers, anything interesting. Uh, the Brett Favre rookie card, of course, whether it's uh, worth a million bucks or worth a penny. I, I, he was a great quarterback. Uh, go Green Bay. Anyway, I'm going to pop this, and as I mentioned, uh, I'm only going to be opening half the cards in this one, and in some future week, I will be opening the other half. So I got the handy-dandy knife here. I probably don't need it on this, but you know what? Why not? Be careful with knives. Uh, don't try this at home, children. <laughs> anyway, I probably shouldn't joke about that. Uh, somebody might take it the wrong way and say I'm telling people to go play with knives, and that's absolutely not the truth. If you can't have a, a little bit of goof with things, and uh, if you can't take, take things a little bit lighthearted, well, you, you really got to check yourself. Anyway, so there are, how many in here? 36, so I'm going to pop out 18 of these. Uh, well, I might do stack one and stack two, and I'll save stack three and four for another time and date. Uh... Not sure what week, might be week four, week five, week six of Sunday football, but they'll get opened again. So let's confirm, I do have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen packs there. Uh, I think I was supposed to have eighteen, wasn't I? Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Two, four, six... And yeah, that's why. All right. So there was some shuffling going on inside the box also. Uh, seemed like the front had only, a, had, a, had the wrong amount and the back had more. So now we're at the right amount. Just make sure again, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Full half box there. So now we can get started. And I got the Wall of Fame set up. Uh, it's a straight Wall of Fame. It, of course, no baseball diamond there. Uh, maybe I'll get a get something football related up for football breaks down the road. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. 
Now these are the aluminum foil sealed packs, the security pack. So again, with the handy daddy knife, let's see what we find. Don't want to damage any of these cards, of course. I'll try to pop these packs. That would not be a nice day. All right. Now, no stickage to these, so that's really good. And you can see the photography on these is really cool. Andre Reeson, nice card there. Now, I'm, I'm going to be putting my own wall of fame up over there. Uh, some of y'all might think other cards should go there. That's all well and good. Other players, whatever the case might be. You got your favorites. I got mine. There's some definite set I'm sure that we'd agree on. Johnny Meads, Jack Schroeder. Carl Zander, Dennis Smith, Rob Thomas, Hardy Nickerson, Leslie O'Neill, Patrick Hunter, Richard Dent. Hmm. Okay. And Brian Noble. Let's get to pack number two. I'm wondering, should I? I probably should. Yeah, no, I'll skip it. That's fine. Again, if I miss somebody in there, let me know. I'm sure I did. All right, we got Dwayne Bickett, Ken Harvey, Steve Broussard, Browning Nagel. That, that's the ultra draft pick. Leon Seals, Lorenzo White, Greg Townsend, Eddie Brown, David Treadwell, Kevin Porter, Greg Lloyd, Ronnie Harmon, Andy Heck. Hmm. That last name. I, I wonder, is he part of the family of the middle? I don't know if y'all ever watched that show. It's definitely one of my favorite shows that they've put on TV. I don't think that's him. Uh, I mean, I know it's supposed to be Axel Heck, but I uh, wonder if he's, like, distantly related to the Heck family. Anyway, what the heck. All right, pack number three here. Still nothing, really, that I would find notable. Again, maybe some of y'all think so. But, uh, and you can let me know in the comments. And I also just like to say I really appreciate all the subscribers, the comments. I've been getting some great feedback. Um finding out about players that, you know what, maybe I should have known about, but don't. Uh, now, football's not my strongest suit. I'm much more of a baseball person. Always been that way. Um, but I would say football over soccer, football over golf, football over hockey, uh, football definitely over basketball. So, but baseball, nah. Zurich, uh, we got Bruce Smith. He's a Hall of Famer. You know, I'll keep that one up there. I think I think that's a good one. Warren Moon, absolutely. Yep, okay. We got some pops now. Rodney Holman, Vance Johnson, Barry Word, Tim Worley, Rod Bernstein, Jacob Green, and Brad Muster. Okay, so we got two up on the Wall of Fame so far. Let me get the handy-dandy frappers out. We can get the Warren Moon up over there. Now, again, uh, getting these graded, it's not really worth it, per se. I mean, unless you're a, somebody who likes to see their cards slabbed, neither one of these would really have... Uh, you, you, you'd lose money by getting a PSA slab on them. Now, if it's for your collection or you just want to have a full PSA 10 set, well, then that, that's a different story. That, that's a collector value as opposed to a resale value. And sometimes as, as people in the hobby, we got to look at both because uh, as, as I've said many times in other videos, uh, this is not exactly a cheap hobby. Cards aren't free. I mean, unless you get lucky enough to get them sent to you or people pass them on. Um, but uh, and some of that I've had happen over the last couple of weeks where people pass me a collection. And you know what? That's all well and good. I'll probably have videos of those up shortly. Got Mike Johnson, Irving Fryer. Mike Wilker, Eric Howard, James Hasty, Roderick Thomas, Dan Marino. Okay, now that one definitely goes up on the wall. Jeff George. 
hesitating here, hesitating, hesitating, hesitating. <laughs> Jay Taylor, Andre Reeson again, pulled one of his before. Ernie Mills, Leonard Smith, and Johnny Meads. So let's get that marina wrappered up. Any Marino is a good Marino, that's for sure. All right, we get to the next one now. Still, of course, looking for the Brett Favre, uh, the other of his rookies. I had a uh, score box just recently uh, that I did a half box opening on. Uh, that you'll definitely see the video for. There was a Brett Favre rookie in that. So it'd be nice to have its twin. Terry Wooden. Refrigerator Perry. Nice card there. Sterling Sharp. Gary Clark. Jerry Rice. Absolutely. Now that's a nice one. That's one of those ultra performance cards. That's great. Herschel Walker. Absolutely. Sweet. Jared Bunch. Rodney Hampton. It's like... Just completely flattened them. It's pretty funny. Nice in action shot. Reggie White. Jerry Rice. Okay, yeah. That's nice. Nice several cards in that pack. Get multiple Hall of Famers in there? Yeah. That, that, that's a good pack. Really good pack. All right. We get the Rice up there. If I can get my fingers to work correctly. That would be a nice thing also. All right. Got the Herschel. Good luck to him in his, uh, what is it, the governor's race in uh, in Georgia? I, I know that the political environment down there is really interesting over the last couple of years. I, I I can't say that I know all that much about Herschel as a as a politics guy. I have heard some of the things he said, and uh, I know if I was in Georgia, I, I'd probably be pretty happy with most of those. Uh, but I'm not in Georgia, so. Uh, as I've been told before about other states, I don't really have much of an opinion to have. Although, you know, in some ways I do because our nation's a great nation and everybody has different ways that maybe they'd like to see it go. Or Anyway, I'm going to stay away from politics for right now. <laughs> Got Reggie White again. Nice one, okay. You know, I should probably keep him. I should have grabbed the other one also thinking about it. Anyway, Reggie White and then Jerry Rice again. Okay, well, that's telling me something. I got to go back for that Reggie White later. Steve Smith. Jerry Gray. Leon White. Mark Boyner. Bruce Kazurski. Louis Oliver. Albert Bentley. Tim McDonald. And Neon Dion. Sweet. So we got three in that pack, too. Happy about that. I mean, that wall of fame is filling up real quick now. Now, again, the Dion is the highest price card in PSA 10, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I mean, things can change, but even so, that in a PSA 10 is only 57 bucks. So, be it as it may, definitely a lot more for collectors, I guess, than, uh, than PSA value. Although that card does look nice. We'll see what happens. All right, got the Reggie White up over there also. So definitely full of Hall of Famers in these packs so far. Multiple Jerry Rices and multiple varieties of them. That's, that's great. Now the performance cards uh, you'd find in a different set within PSA if you're looking. Uh, also, if you're looking within T, uh, TCDB. Uh, they're listed as a, as a variety or an insert. Okay, we're starting Vance Muller. Anthony Munoz. I believe he's Hall of Fame. Ricky Natiel. Albert Lewis. Lewis Lips. Anthony Miller. Tommy Kane. Mark Carrier. Don Michkowski. Okay. Gerald Riggs. Wade Wilson. Dalton Hillard. Herman Moore. NLT. Nice action shot there. All right. So, 
Based on my scoring, I say I got two really nice cards out of there. Let me check the Munoz. I believe he's Hall of Famer. But what do I know, right? Yep, I was right. It's not all that often, according to my wife, that I'm right. But uh, I'm sure some of y'all could relate. <laughs> all right. And we got the LT there. Sweet. All right, Wall of Fame is definitely lining up nicely. Still hunting on the Brett Favre, though. I got a good feeling. I mean, whether whether he pops out of this one or or doesn't, or out of the other ones that I'll be opening in a future week, or doesn't, I'd say all in all, this has been a pretty sweet opening so far. All right, we got a checklist. Woohoo, a checklist. Ruben Davis, Broderick Thompson, Todd McNair, Mike Young, Jeff Bryant, Winston Moss, traded. Mike Kofer, John Grimsley, traded. Robert Brown, Jeff Bostick, Ricky Waters, draft pick there. Interesting card. I'm going to keep that one on the side. Don Beebe, Beeb, and Ray Childress. Next pack. Now, I will say great thing about these is there's no gum. Uh, I do know that I've been finding some really nasty stickage packs that have gum lately. Michael Irvin. All right, interesting. Nice card there. What do y'all think? Throw them up on the wall? I think so. Reggie Langhorn, Tom Hudson, Cleveland Gary, <laughs> Cleveland Gary as opposed to New York Mel or, or Boston Mark, <laughs> Mike Merriweather, Ron Stallworth, traded, Reggie Cobb, Jim Offerdahl, Clarence Verdon, Ernie Jones, Keith Jones, Godfrey Mil Godfrey Miles, Pete Metzelards, and Ernest Givens. So yeah, I'll throw the Michael Irvin up on the wall. Get some more frappers out. I, you know what? It's a good thing. I, I seem to not be pulling enough frappers out of the pack before I get started. I, I, I think that's better than pulling too many out and being disappointed. So far, so good, I say. All right, what we got in here? All right, and it's flipped, of course. Eric McMillan, Ron Hall, Tim McKeer, McKeyer, traded. Roan Stark, Rich Camarillo, Brian Jordan, Mo Gardner, Jamie Muller, Drew Hill, Vance Muller, Another Munoz, Ricky Natiel, Albert Lewis, and Lewis Lips. Now, again, like I said, and I said, and I'll keep saying, I'll keep saying it, guaranteed. I'm sure, 100%, that there's some stars that I missed. Some stars, some Hall of Famers, all of that. I can guarantee it. I'd say sometimes even in baseball cards, there might be some that I miss. And uh, that, that could be because I, well, I don't know, maybe because I don't believe that they're in. I, I get into the debate constantly, for example, about Dave Parker. I believe he should be in. And I wonder about some other players. But anyway, Johnny Holland, Jim Lackey, Lachey Lackey, Reggie White, nice card there. I'll frapper that one up. Alfred Anderson, Gene Atkins, Nick Bell, 
Mark Ingram, Byron Evans, John Taylor, Checklist, Ruben Davis, Broderick Thompson, Todd McNair, and Mike Young. So, to me, one good one. Definitely Wall of Fame, the Reggie White. And that is one of those Ultra Performances card. Now, with the Ultra Performances, the best one that you'd be looking for is the Emmett Smith. Uh, all of the other ones, uh, I don't know if you really want to get graded. Uh, the cost of grading for all of them, from what I've seen, is more than what their sale price, their typical sale price is. All right, Jeff Query. I made a joke about him the other day about being a SQL server statement, uh, a SQL query. Maybe, maybe he's a select query and insert and update. Uh, anyway, let me not nerd out. I'll do those another time, another day. Ernest Biner, Rod Woodson, Steve Jordan, Eric Martin, Mike Pritchard, Dave Meggett, Wes Hopkins, Tom Rathman, another Michael Irvin, okay. Reggie Langhorn, Tom Hudson, Cleveland Gary again, and Mike Merriweather. Definitely seeing our share of duplicates in here. I'm happy it's not just the common scrubs, uh, but the Hall of Famers as well. I mean, this seems to be multiples of all of those so far. And let's pull multiple farves, and that'd be, you know what? Really nice, super nice box. Mark Ripon, or Ripian, Joey Browner, Steve Walsh, Pat Harlow, Lewis Tillman, Jerome Brown, Brett Jones, Checklist, Eugene Marv, Gary Plummer, Kevin Green, Mike Singletary, Joe Mott, and Vinny Testaverde. Now, some people swear, as far as him being a great quarterback, I don't know, y'all can comment on Vinny, I... I'm neither here nor there. I, I wonder about Troy Aikman also. I think uh, the way I remember Troy Aikman is every year. Uh, it looked like every game he was getting his, his brains knocked out. I, I think he belongs in the Hall of Fame for concussions. Uh, he was a good player, don't get me wrong. But yeah, he definitely took his fair share of uh, hits. All right, what we got next? Anera Tuaulo. Okay. Shane Conlon, Chris Dishman, Melvin Fernandez, Boomer, John Elway, nice. All right, keep the Elway up over there. Stefan Page, Bobby Brister, Gil Bird, Derek Fenner, Trace Armstrong, Tim Harris, Wilbur Marshall, and Chris Dolman. So we pulled an Elway, so that's nice. Definitely pulling Hall of Famers left and right in here. And again, I probably have a bunch in that stack. But I'm going to say, ah, oh, I didn't know that. Hey, that's cool. That, that, that's a nice one. All right. We got three left. Well, four left, including this one right here. All right, we got starting off with Jack Schroeder, Carl Zander, Dennis Smith, Rob Thomas, Hardy Nickerson, Leslie O'Neill, Patrick Hunter, Richard Dent. Now, Dent is going up on the wall also. Brian Noble, Mark Ripon, Joey Browner, Steve Walsh, Pat Harlow, and Lewis Tillman. I'll throw that one up on the wall. And we got a lot of quarterbacks up there. That's for sure. We got to get some defensive line. We got linebackers, running backs. Looks like we have a pretty good team side team lining up over there. Got offensive line with, with Munoz. We got defensive line with Dent. Pretty good team. So, Heath Sherman, Charles Haley, Emmett, nice. Take the Emmett all day. Clay Matthews, 
I'm not sure. I don't recall. And yeah, I'm kind of doing some cheating there. Tim Crummy, Jim Everett, Tim McGee, Al Toon, Willie Drury, Sammy Smith, Jack Trudeau, Aaron Cox, Mike Rosier, and Eric Bianemi. Bianemi? Okay. Yeah, when I say I'm doing some cheating, of course I have the lappy right next to right next to where I'm setting up all the frappers. Uh, and I have TCDB up uh, so I can check on certain cards as I pull them. Because, again, football is not my biggest uh, biggest strength. So if I pull something that might be cool and don't realize it, well, I'll get back to it later. But if I pull it on pull while I'm filming this and realize it's cool, well, I, you know what? We get to share in the happiness on video. <laughs> All right, what's next? Steve Smith again. Seems like I'm pulling a lot of those. Jerry Gray. Leon White, Mark Boyner, Mike Kuzerski, Louis Oliver, Albert Bentley, Tim McDonald, Neon Dion again, Tualu, Shane Conlon, Chris Dishman, Mervin Fernandez, and Boomer again. Got double boomers. I, I do know that I have a couple friends uh, out there that. Uh, Definitely appreciate Boomer and his career and the way he played his game. Shout out to the Boomer fans. I, I just, I think his name is cool. <laughs> I mean, picture having the guts to name your kid Boomer. And then he ends up being a professional football player. Marcus Allen, nice. Keep that one over there. Lewis Billups, Steve Atwater, Steve DeBerg, Gary Anderson. Marion Butts, Brian Blades, Neil Anderson, Anthony Dilweg, Daryl Green, Anthony Carter, Morton Anderson, Mark Kroll, and Otis Anderson. So that kind of wraps us up. I'm going to be frappering that one as well and uh, going through the stack a little bit later. Uh, we did not get the Brett Favre this time. That's okay. I think we pulled lots of other good Hall of Famers. Uh, definitely some of the all-time greats that were in this set. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all of that. Uh, definitely comment. I answer back almost all, if not all, comments. And always happy to have a conversation. Definitely happy if you inform me of something that I'm not aware of. So with all that being said, hope y'all have a great rest of your day, rest of your evening, rest of your whatever time it might be. And whatever day of the week it is, and uh, wherever you might be on this great blue ball that we're all living on right now. Anyway, y'all take care. Bunkle out. Stay blessed.